good to see you, Hunter. The 405 lever action rifle has entered the store. The largest caliber so far in the store. A big game rifle. You can load five bullets at a time. And these are the iron sights. Very nicely done. And as you will see, the iron sights are important. When I click here on the slot for scopes, there isn't any available. There are no scopes currently available for this rifle. So I'm going to turn it into the sun here so you can see it well. It's an old make, but they've been made by the thousands. And of course, we want to take it over to the shooting stand and see how it does. I have unloaded the gun so that we can have a look at the loading animation from the first person view. As opposed to the other lever action rifles, this one is loaded from the top. The gun is loaded up. Let's fire it and listen. What I'm noticing is that this gun is fairly stable. There's practically no recoil. So even at the low shooting skill, which of course is at one when you start, it is extremely stable. There is practically no knockback. I also want to know from this rifle how quickly I can do follow-up shots. So how quickly I can shoot the five shots in a row. Wow, I would say this is fairly fast. This is really a gun for uh, shooting a lot of animals at the same time. If you care for your shooting statistics, then no, that wouldn't be the answer. But um, I have high expectations in this weapon. I'm thinking I'm going to wide rim rich. And if there's a number of moves, I want to see how many I can actually get with this. Plus, I will also try some other animals. I want to see some large game under this rifle, how this works. Wide rim rich, first moves ahead. And remember, we only have the iron sights. I hit the spine, I hit it too, sh too high. And it died. Oftentimes animals will survive for a few minutes when they shot, when they shot in the spine. This moose didn't live for very long. Here is our moose. So I actually hit the spine plus the liver. That's why it died fairly quickly. The shot was from 115 meters. And I got the achievement. First lever action rifle 405 kill. Bison coming up here. He sees me, let me try the lungs. I had to shoot fast before it saw me or it would have turned towards me. So this long shot worked out at maybe 20 meters, 25 meters. So far so good. Exactly 20 meters. Bison at 63 meters. I hit it where I wanted to hit it. The bright spot on the side. The bison is down, so this looks good. So maybe the bison before was just a shot placement issue. This one didn't uh, run far either. 63 meters. So this one went well. There's always a lot of moose here. 
And I want to do a little comparison between the 405 and the 340. Just shoot a moose cow from roughly 100 meters. Of course, I'm going to use the iron sights on both so that we have an apples to apples comparison. Very nice. Very nice. This went uh, straight down. Before picking this one up, I'm tempted to go after another one, which is over here. 192 meters. Can we hit this moose from here? I think we can. <laughs> wow, that was a good shot. Now let's look at these two. So the first one from straight ahead. We hit a lot of neck bones and the brain as well. From 113. And the second moose is here. Bright blood. We hit the heart at 192 meters. So this is possible with the 405. Same tower, moves at currently 144. More moves over here. But like I said, if we want to have somewhat like an apples to apples comparison, we should also shoot the same animals. Oh, there's another. I just missed that. Like I said, there's a lot of moose here. And it went down. The iron side on the 340 are easier. If we just want to compare, you have this little pin in the middle. So this makes it easier as compared to the 450. It also has the pin, but it's a bit, a bit thicker a bit harder and of course also the fact that this is all pitch black when you aim at these moves that's pretty hard again the 340 I find the 340 iron sights just a, a little bit better just slightly easier to aim with so we have a 140 meter kill here with the 340 and now we need to all to produce one over a greater distance. So let's pick up this moose here from the 140 meter shot. Double lungs went straight down. Moose pull ahead. This could serve as our long shot here. And it worked out as well. The moose pull shot with the 340 at 166. Double lungs on this one. So we had the 405 shooting a moose at 120 meters and one at 190 meters. That is 310 meters. The 340 had shots over distances of 144 and 166 meters. That also equals 310 meters. I would say these two weapons are equal with this little fun comparison. Of course, we cannot end this test without coming to the land of the pajamas and the big cows. We will have to do some shooting here as well. And I'm running into an angry cow here. Hello. It's a small male buffalo. Hello. Ole! Unfortunately for the bull, the tree is in the way. Come on again. <laughs> he cannot reach me. Ole! And now I'm stuck at the root. <laughs> Come on over. Ole! And you're dead. But this was from uh, really close. The first water buffalo.
shot in the heart and the lungs after he tried to reach me. What do we have here? Male or female? Female at 40 meters charging already. Come on. Are you kidding? Ooh, that went nice. Could have been a spine shot. I thought I was slightly high on this one. I had to rush it though. I hit the brain. <laughs> brain shot at 34 meters. Band tank cow ahead. Wearing the orange pajamas. They're pretty large, but they're also easy to shoot. They don't have a lot of res resistance. This looks like just a perfect bull to end this field test. Yes, it is down. And I think I hit it twice. Here's our last cow for today. Our last animal. We had some moose, bison, banteng, and now this longhorn. This was our little field test for the new 405 lever action rifle. Big game rifle. I believe it's about equal to the 340, not so much because of my little field test, of my little long shot test, but also otherwise, in general, shooting the animals, it feels about the same, it's got about the same power. What I really don't like is the iron sights, especially for a weapon that doesn't have a scope. The uh, circle is too thick, the front post is also too thick. What you really see through that is too little, Especially if you have to shoot those black animals like the water buffalo, the moose, the bison. I find it hard to shoot. I like the iron sights of the 340 better. Nevertheless, I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.